Are you looking to live in a brand new 52 acre community in Midlothian, Texas? Welcome to Ridgepoint. My name is Josiah Beam and you're watching Living in Ellis County, Texas. And today we are in the community called Ridgepoint here in Midlothian, Texas. As I stated before, it is a sprawling 52 acre community. And right now we're going to be touring some available inventory homes from Bloomfield uh, that showcase their signature finishes as a part of the base price here in the community. So I'm excited to show these off to you. Um, we'll take a look at what this community offers and uh, just what it's all about. So let's go ahead and get after it right now. All right, so one of the ones that we're gonna be walking through here in just a second is the Caraway floor plan. And I've walked through this floor plan before in some other communities uh, in Red Oak and then also in Waxahachie. I really enjoy this floor plan. It's got a lot of flexibility to it. Uh, it's right around 2,500 square foot, four beds, three bathrooms, two car garage. And uh, this one here in the Ridgepoint community is coming in that just price reduced down to 480,000. So as I was talking about, this is one of the signature finishes that comes in standard uh, with this model here and in this community um, in Ridgepoint. It's this uh, wood door here, this cedar door. And uh, I just think it looks excellent. Uh, it really dresses up this, the front of the house. Um, and it's not just your average you know, garage door look. I think it just looks really classy. Another one of their signature touches and finishes on their homes here uh, by Bloomfield are these eight foot doors, uh, as you can see behind me here. Not only is it uh, eight foot, so you've got a really nice entryway, but also it's got kind of a frosted glass and it lets a lot of light in. That's another thing that I really enjoy about the Bloomfield homes. They, a lot, they really showcase a lot of natural light and have a whole lot of windows that let in that natural light. All right, so as we're walking through this Caraway floor plan, remember I was telling you, this is one of my favorite models just because, or floor plans, just because of the flexibility of it. Uh, pardon the echo here. Uh, obviously, this is a brand new home, finished out and everything, and it's not furnished yet, so it's gonna be a little bit more echoey. But uh, as you can see, you've got the finished out fireplace here, the stone fireplace. That is a great addition. Um, and then you just got all these windows here letting in that natural light. Um, one of the really cool things about this floor plan, like I talked about the flexibility. So we've got kind of a split floor plan back behind us. We've got the living room, the kitchen, and then the master. Uh, and then up front here, we've got the other three bedrooms. So uh, when you come off of the entryway here, uh, just to uh, what your left as you're walking in, you've got a bathroom here that these two bedrooms share. And um, I'll give you a little bit more of a walkthrough of each of those uh, here in a minute. But uh, you know, great little floor plan right here up front for these two, you know, bedrooms uh, to be sharing uh, the bathroom here in the middle and uh, the these are nice size bedrooms i've got a great you know walk uh, great closet here space it's one of the you know the closets where it's, it's not super deep but you've got side uh you know space on either side of the closet so uh, i really do like that functionality here's my favorite part uh, it is right here in this third bedroom of four bedrooms on this floor plan and as you can see we got you know great windows great light looking out to the front of the road but you've got an ensuite bathroom so that right there is a major selling point to me so if you've got lots of family or friends that are coming over constantly you got your own private little space here you know a nice size bedroom great natural light you got a, a really good uh, walk-in size closet here uh, and then you've got the um, ensuite shower and tub combo a uh, little bit of a you know not a huge space right here but you've got a full bathroom um, and then you've got even more storage space here as well off to the side so to me uh, that this is a an excellent floor plan it gives you know even if you wanted to do a uh, multi-generational living situation you've got a ton of flexibility 
you know, uh, mom or dad or grandma or grandpa, if you want them to come move in with you, then you've got a space right here at the front of the, um, you know, residence and they've got their, really their setup right here. And, you know, they can be kind of tucked away, but uh, they can and have their independence and everything, but then also be a part of all the family activities. So uh, we'll go ahead and take a look too at uh, the master. Another thing that I really like about this floor plan, look at this huge pantry. It's awesome. Uh, tons and tons of space. So they didn't, you know, shortchange you there. You got your built-in appliances. You've got uh, your uh, cooktop here and vent hood. Uh, so a nice size island here as well. Um, but here's another feature that I really think is cool. So big, big laundry room that we're going to be walking into right here. Tons of cabinetry and space. Uh, spot for your washer and dryer here, additional uh, cabinets and countertop space, which is really, really nice. And then you've got your uh, space right here to hang up your coats, uh, set up any book bags or whatever, you know, things you want right here off the garage, uh, two car garage. And as we talked about that high end wood door that they offer here um, as part of their signature finishes. But the other thing that I really like is right here as I flip around. So we got the laundry room, right? And then we've got the closet into the master that opens right up into the laundry room. And you can shut this door and you've got access right in there to the master closet. So let's walk through here and take a look. This master closet is huge, tons and tons of space. But this, like I said, is why I really, really like the Caraway floor plan. Lots of flexibility uh, and options. You got a nice big soaker tub there uh, and glass shower. And then you got your vanities all, you know, separate here. So you got tons of countertop space. Once again, natural light coming through frosted glass. So you have privacy and, you know, you've got the same divided um, countertop space here in the master bathroom. Um, once again, we've got, and I think we've got some more closet space in here. Perfect. So this floor plan is 2,500 square foot. They use it really, really well. You got your water closet there and more natural light. Two windows here on the side of the house in the master and then three looking into the back yard. And so just really, really cool split floor plan design. Um, the Caraway, about 2,500 square foot. This floor plan right here, um, actually uh, this model, not model, the floor plan is currently for sale for $480,000. Started off at $516,000, so they have cut some off of that price and it is ready to go. So if you wanted to come in and move into this house in the next 30 days, it's wide open and available. So another thing here uh, on this Caraway floor plan, we've got a nice little covered back porch here and um, this is part of the 70 foot wide lot package here in Ridgepoint that Bloomfield is offering. So a uh, good amount of yard space back here as well um, on either side you know, of the house and then back here in the backyard. All right, so this is the Hawthorne floor plan. It is a two-story floor plan. Uh, the game room uh, optional uh, is upstairs and it has a three car garage here as well as you can see so uh, it has a lot of flexibility as well about 2700 square foot and uh, this one here let's see it's currently available and right now it is priced at five hundred and thirty four thousand dollars just had a price reduction on it as well so they are ready to go ahead and get these homes moving if you've got a bigger family and you know you need a little more extra space to spread out this hawthorne floor plan could be a really good one for you all right so we're inside the hawthorne floor plan here uh, that is currently available five hundred thirty four thousand dollars right now just price reduced uh, we're looking at that really nice eight foot door uh, that they've got 
in the entryway. And then right here, as you enter, you've got a really nice office set up with, once again, great windows, great lighting. You know, to me, if I'm working at home, I really like having that view outside uh, to see what's going on and, uh, you know, just enjoy uh, the nature there. So you got your office up front as you walk in and then you've got your laundry room here. Um, now it's a, it's a smaller laundry room than in the Caraway floor plan, um, but you know, you've got plenty of cabinet space here and then and some additional uh, storage here off to the side. And right across the hallway is the entrance from the three car garage here. And so it's gonna be a little bit darker lighting wise, but you can see you got the nice premium wood doors, uh, the three car garage, just a massive amount of space here. Um, lots of really good, you know, functionality uh, here to be able to, you know, get everybody parked in if you'd like. Uh, and out of that hot Texas sun or out of the hailstorms in the spring, you know how it goes. So, um, coming in back here really quick, and we're gonna take a look at the kitchen space. I really like these lighter cabinets here um, in the kitchen. It's a, a really beautiful look. So, we've got the kitchen island, um, and then we've got you know, additional side windows here with cabinetry and countertop space. Um, so you got the built-in appliances here, same kind of setup, built-in oven, microwave, cooktop there with the vent hood. Um, this one does have, you know, actually a little bit smaller of a pantry than the Caraway model that we were looking at, but it's plenty of space. I mean, you got, you know, shelves in here, you can fully walk into it and everything. Some of the models of different builders that I see, it, it kind of irks me because you have a really big house and then they've got a tiny little pantry, you know, for like a five bedroom house. And that is not the case here. Um, they've got a really good uh, pantry and uh, they got you all set up well. I don't know if you can see it fully. I'll walk this way a little bit. You've got the art ceilings, um, you know, a little bit going on here, uh, which is a cool look. It makes it feel even more open. And then uh, the really nice fireplace finish out there. So uh, this setup, you know, you've got your office, your um, garages up front, your offices up front, laundry rooms up front, kitchen here is right here in the front. And then you've got your master bath and master bedroom and master bathroom here, kind of in the middle. And then we've got bedrooms three, two, three, and four here at the back. The second and third are along the back side of the house. And then the fourth is also upstairs with that bonus room attached. So if you have, you know, maybe an older teenager that wants a little more independence, they could go, you know, have that room upstairs. So uh, this is a really large master, kind of got the nice tall ceilings and everything. And uh, we've got closet space here. So really nice use of space and the closet. We got the ability to hang clothes way up there. Um, just a really good amount of space. And then we'll go ahead in here to the master bath and take a look. We've got a nice walk-in shower there and then the soaker tub. And then we've got the dual vanity there as well. So, and then your water closet tucked away there as well. All right, so let's go ahead back through here into the main living room area and we'll take a look at the other bedrooms here. So we've got bedroom two and three here and then a hallway bathroom. Uh, in the hallway bathroom here, we got dual vanities as well. So that's definitely nice. Um, and you can kind of have it uh, split off here. You've got another door here. Uh, sorry if I'm not getting you in the camera shot there. Uh, but you've got another door here that you can close off uh, for the toilet and the shower. If you wanted to still have this available for, you know, for 
um, other folks to use uh, the sinks, you've got that ability uh, when, you know, you've got company over and, you know, you want to have it as like kind of a multi-use bathroom space. So these bedrooms here, uh, they do have, you know, a shorter ceiling height, but I mean, it's totally okay. You've got the uh, closet right here, nice big windows out to the backyard. Um, but you're going to notice that right you now, right here, you've got a little bit lower ceiling height, probably eight foot ceilings right there for these two bedrooms here on the back. So now this one has a much larger closet here. So that's definitely nice. And then at the end of this hallway here, you've got some additional storage, uh, you know, for kind of like a linen closet there. You've got kind of like a little homework nook if you wanted to use it that way. You know, you could put a computer there or just a little desk space that's already built in, which is nice. And then you've got under the stairs, you got some additional storage, you know, in there as well. So we're gonna go ahead and go upstairs and show you the game room and fourth bedroom option. Nice lights, or I'm sorry, nice natural light coming in here off the stairway with those windows as well. Um, and then you got the game room here, more big windows letting in the nice Texas sun and linen closet here got full bathroom up here as well and then you've got the fourth bedroom upstairs nice tall ceilings uh, in this bedroom here really nice big windows as well looking out to the backyard and you've got your closet over here too. so all right so this is the Hawthorne floor plan. Once I said, once again, I said, uh, you know, lots of space um, and, you know, ability to accommodate a larger family. Uh, it is, you know, a little bit different in terms of the layout um, as like the caraway that we just walked through. But if you want some additional space, this utilizes it really well. Once again, right about $535,000 and 2,700 square foot. All right, and just like the caraway on this Hawthorne here, we've got a really nice cupboard patio here on the back. And that goes around to a really nice backyard space. You've got a very tiny wall back here as well, just because of the elevation change. Um, but you know, it's well built. It's got the drainage in the bottom of it as well. So that should be nothing to worry about there. But just getting you a view of the back of the home here. That's a really, really pretty one. Um, like I talked about, it's available now, $535,000. All right, so the last one we're gonna be taking a look here at here is the Carolina floor plan. And I'd call this more of the traditional floor plan, you know, that some folks might be used to. Uh, this is a three bed, two and a half um, car garage, three bed, two bath, two and a half car garage here uh, with a study or formal dining. This one has a formal dining. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at it right now. All right, so we're inside of the Carolina floor plan here. Currently price reduced down to 490,000. And uh, we see this, you know, the really nice decorative eight foot door there. And the entryway we're in, it's kind of like a rounded shape. Uh, it's a cool little entryway uh, that they've got going on here. And then you've got this kind of side window here as well, which is, you know, bringing in more natural light, really cool look. Um, Right off of the front here, we do have uh, an office. Um, I guess if you wanted to, you could use it as a bedroom um, and make this a four bedroom home. Um, so, you know, it got the space there. And we've got right off of the entryway as well, a two and a half car garage. So I don't know if I can get it really in there to show you. Got that extra space there on the side. And so, offers you know maybe a little sp space if you wanted to uh, put in a workbench or something uh, you know another place to store your lawnmower or other tools or anything like that so 
you know, in this floor plan, like I talked about, this is a little more of the traditional feel because it's got this uh, dining area, formal dining area, kind of just carved out here in the middle. And uh, while that is, you know, good, you could make it a play area. You could do all sorts of stuff with it. Uh, being on the, you know, this is a single level home. It's not necessarily if you've got it as a play area, you know, you can't really tuck your kids toys away here or anything like that. They're going to be <laughs> open and available for everybody to see. But that's why I call it more of like a traditional floor plan because you got that carved out formal dining space. Um, and, you know, right here off on the other side of the house here, we've got uh, two additional bedrooms. And now these are larger bedrooms here. Uh, you got you know, high ceilings, um, not the kind of lower ceilings that the second and third bedroom had there in the Hawthorne floor plan. The Carolina doesn't have that here. so. You know, good natural light, nice big closet, walk-in closet back there. And um, in the middle of these two bedrooms here up front, you've got your laundry room. Um, you know, you've got some additional storage here in the laundry room. Uh, that is definitely helpful. And you've got your, you know, spot for your washer, dryer, and then, you know, cabinetry there as well. So that's definitely useful. And here in uh, the third bedroom, once again, you know, I've got really great windows and then kind of a smaller closet, not, this is one of the wider closets here, not super deep, but, uh, and not a walk-in, but a closet nonetheless there. So uh, we'll go ahead and keep on walking through here, the Carolina floor plan. And this is the bathroom that uh, these two bedrooms share here. So we've got, you know, double vanity here and uh, then the, you know, full, uh, shower tub combo and toilet here so got your bathroom right here up at the front of the house so we'll keep on walking back through into the living room and take a look at it so uh, this one you know has a little bit of a, a more um, you know formal look to the fireplace doesn't have that Austin stone it's got some you know gray tile here around it uh, very pretty though and you know you got your windows out to the back and then a little eating space here right off the kitchen this is a nice big island here uh, with spots to you know have seats right up at the island as well uh, good cabinet space once again you get your built-in appliances here uh, nice uh, pantry there as well got your cooktop um, point <laughs> sorry my pointing is backwards here i don't have somebody filming me doing this by myself here, that's okay. So uh, going on through here and, you know, taking a look at the rest of the kitchen. And, you know, it's not a huge pantry, but definitely, definitely doable. Uh, good walk-in size there as well. So we'll keep on taking a look. And I will say uh, this Carolina floor plan has a really nice big master. Uh, look at how long this is here nice kind of like almost arched ceiling in here as well and got your couple of windows out to the side and got three windows out to the back letting in lots of great light um and and we'll go ahead and take a look at the master bath here we've got you know the same kind of uh, soaker tub walk-in shower and then we've got the uh, double vanity here as well <clears throat> so uh also got the master closet here, tons and tons of space. And if you guys are liking this style of tour where I'm just kind of walking and talking, let me know in the comments down below. Definitely let me know if you'd prefer me to walk and talk or if you would prefer me to kind of just do a walkthrough with voiceovers or something like that. It uh, depends on, I guess, what your style is, but uh, you know, not everybody likes the same thing, but Definitely the walking and talking, you get a lot of, a lot more of, uh, you know, my opinion in the place as we're going through it. But I really, really, um, like I said, love all the natural light that Bloomfield takes advantage of with their windows. Really, really nice. But this Carolina floor plan, a little more traditional because of that, you know, dining space there, but they still, you know, it's, it's a great home here as well. So uh, this one, like I said earlier, is 
currently price reduced down to 490,000. So it's available. We'll go ahead and get a little more detail here. And I'm gonna get some drone footage of the neighborhood so you can take a look and see uh, as it's being built out here in Ridge Point in Midlothian, Texas. All right, so I hope you all enjoyed this tour of the Ridge Point community here in Midlothian, Texas. Once again, we were touring the inventory that is currently available by Bloomfield Homes. And uh, we walked through the Carolina, the Caraway, and the Hawthorne uh, plans that are available currently, ranging from 480,000 all up to 535,000. So there's a lot of flexibility here. It's a really nice community, uh, really good sized lots here, 70 foot wide lots. And uh, I really, really like what they have to offer here. So if you're interested in finding out more, definitely, you know, reach out to me, give me a call, shoot me an email. I'd be more than happy to talk with you, your friends or family into taking a look uh, at relocating here in and around uh, the DFW area. So, uh, or if you're just looking to move here from out of state, I've helped several folks successfully do that as well. So hope you enjoyed the video. Definitely give it a thumbs up if you did and consider subscribing. Going to be continuing to cover more and more in and around Ellis County and DFW as we go. So I will see you all next week. Thanks. Take care.